Hello Excel fans and welcome to this episode of Launch Excel in which we look at how to use this button to print worksheets. So if I click on this button, you'll see that it brings out the print preview from which I can then print the worksheet. Or I could select a group of cells like this, print the selected cells only like this. And while this is just an example of how you can assign a macro to print your worksheet, you could also use this for other purposes. For example, if you had a macro to email someone or if you had a macro to bring up some help form then you could use this button to bring that up. So I created this video because of a request from Christine B uh, just on Wednesday, April the 11th. She wrote to me and said, Hi Victor, reason for my wanting to learn about macros is I'm doing a business computing course and macros are the final question in my final module and information provided was not helping my understanding of macros. So she also later said, I have followed your video instructions for recording a macro and found it very useful. However, my problem is creating a macro to print a sheet using a shape as a button to run the macro. Do you have a video or advice for me? And so I thought, yep, let me reply to Chris and I'll create a video just to show you how to record uh, or create, in fact, a macro that prints the sheet using a shape as a button to run that macro. So of course you can extend this. As I said, you could use this to send emails, maybe bring up a help form, or even to create an automatic report generation using this one button to run the macro that you need. And so it's quite a flexible method. So let's dive right in. So here are seven steps to make your own one-click print button icon. I'm just going to walk through the high-level overview first, and then we'll get into the details soon. So step one would be to insert the form control button. Step two would be to set the button properties to enable the object to be printed, which you can do if you want it to be printed. If you don't want it to be printed, you just don't set the option. Step three would be to insert a printer icon. Step four would be to resize and position both of those shapes together. Step five would be to group the two shapes. Step six would be assign a macro to do the printing. As soon as you click on the shapes, it will run the macro. And step seven would be to write out the macro code to do the printing task. So I've got here two examples of macros that you can use to print. And the first one is the print preview for the active sheet. You see it's just one line. I've called it sub one underscore click underscore print. So one click print. And this says the active sheet dot print out. So that's the method dot print out. Preview is true. So just one parameter for this one. And the second example, this is print preview for the selected cells. Uh, I've called this sub uh, print selection. So on error, go to error handler just in case a shape was selected instead of a range. But again, this is just basically one line which says selection dot printout preview is true. So just like before, instead of the active sheet here, we've replaced that with the selection. So that's the selection of cells on your worksheet. Now I know that it may be a little bit hard to remember all these steps after watching the video. So what I've done is I put all these seven steps into an Excel workbook, which you can download I just need to check the video description. So just below this video, you'll see a link to this workbook, which is on my website. And you can download this and it, all these instructions will be there. So you can look at the overview as well as the detail, what to click. All right, so now let's have a look at the how to, the detailed step-by-step -step walkthrough. So what we'll do now is I will delete this button and then we'll start all over again. So I'm just gonna hit delete. That's taking that out. So step number one is to insert the form control button you need to have the developer tab for this. So I've got the developer tab open here. If you don't have a developer tab, just right click anywhere on the ribbon and then customize the ribbon. When you see this options on the right, you can select this developer tab, which will be down here below here, just below the view. So developer tab, make sure that's checked and then you click OK. Now when you have the developer tab, uh, you can then insert a form button control. Let's have a look. So insert form controls, this button here. Um, there's form controls and there's ActiveX controls. We're just going to use a basic form control because it's more compatible across more systems. So I click on button and then I draw the button where I want it to go, just about there. Now if I want to change the position, I can right click, um, sorry, I, I can actually just control click instead of right click, control click, I can drag it around and I can also use the Alt key to snap it to the cell grid lines. And then I can also use these handles at the corners um, to reposition, resize. So I'm going to resize holding the Alt key down so it's just like this. And I think that's just about right. I'm going to label this now so I can right click and edit the text. I'm going to change the label to say print preview, print, and then I'll hit enter, 
preview. Now I want it to be right, uh, right aligned, sort of, I, I need to push the words to the right. So I can just add a few spaces to do that. Maybe that be probably good enough. Let's now add a few more spaces here. So that's done the form control. I'm going to right click again on this and I'm going to go form control, format the control. So format the control and then in the properties tab, uh, properties here, I'm going to select to print the object so that when we hit the print preview, you'll see the button print out as well. Um, we're going to head over to step three, which is insert the printer icon. So to insert the printer icon, you choose the insert tab up here. And because I've got this squashed up, it's like uh, I've right aligned this window. So this menu is a bit squished, -ish, squished up, <laughs> squished, <-ish, laughs> squashed up. So I, I had to click the illustrations first. But if you've got this full screen, you're probably going to just click on pictures or the shapes or icons straight away. What we're looking for is the icons. So I'm going to click on icons and you'll see this. Um, this is Excel 2016 that you see. There's a whole list of different icons you can use. They all look black to begin with, but you can change the color later. So I'm going to select this one here, the printer icon and head down to insert. As soon as I do that, you see the printer icon comes up and I want to resize this. So I'm going to click this handle in the corner to about that size. That looks good. And I'm going to move this over here. Now you might find if you do this, it may be behind the button. If it's behind the button, all you need to do is right click here and then bring to front. So bring to front brings it to the front of uh, all the objects and shapes on this page. Then I can click and drag this over here. And then after I do that, let's say I position it about there. I can change the color by right clicking and changing the fill. Let's say that color, that blue, that's fine. Blue accent one, click on that. So now we've done steps one, two, and three, and also four, which is re resize and position the two shapes. So just to re reiterate, if you want to select these shapes, um, you can just click on them right now because there's nothing assigned to them. But if you have already got a macro assigned to them, which is one of the next steps, you will need to control click to select them. So the final step here is to group the two shapes together. So I click this one and I hold shift and click that one. Now I'll right click and I will group um, them together using this option. So now that I group together, they actually move as one. So you see if I can click and drag that round, I will reposition it here. That didn't look very good. <laughs> Let me undo. So control Z, control Z. I think I actually selected the box instead. So I it just select. Like, so even though it's grouped, you can select the shape inside and drag that around, which is not what we want to do. What we want to do is drag the whole thing around. So I will select the whole thing and drag it around. Remember to use the Alt key to snap to the grid lines. All right, so let's cover steps one, two, three, four, and five. Next, we're going to have a look at how to assign a macro to do the printing. So step six, assign a macro to do the printing. We right click on the grouped shapes. We select assign macro. Then we select new. But before we do that, let's rename this to a new name, one underscore click underscore print. And you notice that you can't use a spaces in a macro name. So if you want to separate these words, you've got to use an underscore like I have done here. So I'm going to click on new. And then inside this is created a new module here. You see module one and a new subroutine called one underscore click underscore print. So I'll add one line, which is active sheet dot print out space and one of these uh, parameters. There are a few more parameters, but we'll just use the print preview as true. And we'll head back into Excel with Alt F11. And now when we, pr uh, when we click on this print preview button, it will bring us to the print preview page. And of course we can set this page up, say to fit it to one by one. I'm going to change the letter size to A4 because that's what I use here in Singapore. I'm also going to change it to landscape and click OK. So there it is. There's the page as it's going to print. I'm going to close it instead of print now. But every time now you want to print the page, you just click on this button here. So as soon as you click on it, it runs the assigned macro and it brings up this print preview. So of course you can change the assigned macro if you right click and go assign macro. If there are other macros, they'll be listed in this box here. So that's how you recreate this print icon button. So just to summarize, you got these seven steps to make your one click print button icon. You basically insert the shapes, you group them together, and then you assign a macro to do the printing. Now, if you want to have a copy of this workbook, remember you can get one from the video description down below. I've added a link 
to my website with the workbook download. So make sure you download that if you want to have these seven steps on your own desktop. You can uh, analyze these step by step. You can look at the detail. And also what I've included here is some syntax. So I, I showed you before, um, you just had printout preview, but there are other things you can choose in the printout method. And I've added one worksheet here. So if you want to get this nice summarized version of the printout method, as well as the information step by step, how to make your own one click print button icon, remember to download this free workbook. Right, remember to click the like. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please, please subscribe so you get access to new videos. And if you see the notification bell next to the subscribe button, click that as well so you get notified of any new videos as soon as they come out. All right, see you soon. Thanks for watching. And for more Excel and VBA tutorials, check out my site, www.launchexcel.com. Hope to see you again soon.